they can try 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 all they want but my xbox brethren here goes another argument regarding first party only that's about to get destroyed get your popcorn for this one let's get into it What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy MM2K back again with another one. And hey, yo, do me a favor. Please, please, pretty please. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because guess what? You know it. I'm not too proud to ask. Here's the deal. Xbox is suffering because. Uh, a lack of first party in the minds of a lot of my Xbox brethren, right? That's it. That's their problem. And they and and because Microsoft or Xbox recently purchased 13 new studios, right? That problem's gonna go away soon. Just you know, click your heels and blink your eyes 17 times go or 13 times to match each studio. It's going away. They say to these people out here in this gaming community. That because of this, Microsoft is going to pump content to fix the problem. MM2K, just wait for it. And second party deals, relying on that, your mass effects and your Bioshocks, all that silly stuff, that's what killed Xbox. Second party don't matter. <laughs> so what we're going to do here today is we're going to go over that piece by piece, break it all down, and show why it's nothing but a farce. Nothing but a fool's errand, a bunch of babble <laughs> that Xbox are, are trying to use still to hold their, 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 their second coming of Jesus, their John Lennon, Phil Spencer, in some type of glorious light. Let's get into it. All right. So first, let's deal with Connect Killed. Uh, let's, let's first deal with what killed the second party relationships as people say second party relationships is what killed microsoft what really killed the second party relationships was connect okay connect and the focused on connect pulled microsoft's uh suits away from working continue to work diligently with second party development talent whatever as you know has been reported in, in in various circles as projects were being presented to Microsoft, they didn't want to hear anything about a lot of them unless they fit into the grand scheme of connect and everybody wasn't sold on it. all developers weren't sold on it and didn't want to go through the trouble of having to try to develop some type of implementation so that soured a lot of relationships that's what killed the second party relationships again because there was a big focus on connect integration and they didn't want to do that they just wanted to provide good quality so yes the second party going away did hurt xbox but it wasn't that the second party people just abandoned xbox it was the foolish act of focusing so much on connect and wanting that in integration that killed off the best second party relationships with that being said these 13 new studios that everybody's like it's gonna fix the problem it's all about everything being first party with microsoft if it if, if it was first party instead of second party everything would be van glorious mm2k well okay they bought 13 new studios but you tell me what are these studios working on Simply put, if you have something of quality that's going to be effective and that you're excited about, and when I say you, I mean Phil Spencer, why is Xbox being so damn secretive about it? I mean, Phil Spencer did that Fortune Magazine interview and talked about how he learned how not to talk about things out of order. That's a goddamn lie. He still brought up uh, freaking uh, uh, um, VR out of order when talking about the X, and he talked about then how this van glorious stage was gonna be set at E3 2019, when they decided at the last minute to swap a lot of the more hardcore content because they were worried about the mysterious boogeyman in Congress that was gonna shut down gaming because gaming has now been classified as a, 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 as a, a obsessive disorder. So Phil talks out of order all the time for stuff that he's, he's excited about. Simply put, is he excited about AAA games? Well, we'll get into that. Also, when we talk about second party uh, software, the Xbox 360 flourished off second party deals. Everyone don't love Xbox first party games. Point in hand, your boy. I'm not the biggest Halo fan. 
I didn't, I didn't give two craps about uh, uh, Gears after Gears 2. And there's a lot of people like that, man. My original co-host of Scram Punks, TRS, he's like that. He loves Xbox for the simple fact that they brought the Jade Empires, the Knights of the Old Republics, the Arms of Dangerouses, the Quake 4s, and so on and so on. He loved them for their entire footprint, okay? He loved them because of the types of games that they were bringing to the ease and plug and play of a console. And my final point in hand, to destroy all this stupid hyperbole out here, I mean, you Xbox are getting delusional. It's first party only, first party only. Is Sony just shut that down, that whole stupid argument down this generation? So Sony raised the fame with the PlayStation 4 mainly off of second party deals. The first party offerings as far as supreme accolades were not plentiful. I mean, if you look at their first party, they had what? Uh, um, Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, and God of War. Okay, Uncharted 4 got a lot of accolades. But again, people weren't going super crazy across the board for that one. Horizon Zero Dawn, yes, it sold 10 million. But again, you got this huge saturation of X, I mean, of PlayStation 4s. They dropped the price to 18 bucks for that Black Friday sale. That's when it flew through the roof, right? But nonetheless, it, it, it's become a success for the company. The real one, the real one is God of War. So if we break it down like that, what really was the claim to fame for PlayStation? They're second party deals. They're Bloodborns, okay? They're um, Last Guardians, all right? They're Neos, all right? Even Nier, even though Nier was a timed exclusive, it's, it was it helped uh, push his claim to fame. Just like how Bioshock was a timed exclusive. See, let me break something down to you. Bioshock last generation did fantastic on the Xbox system. Really didn't sell too well one and two on the PlayStation 3. You want to know why? And the PlayStation 3 wasn't that far behind Microsoft as far as uh, units sold. I think it, the highest uh, uh, gap was 8 million, right? But the reason why that Bioshock didn't do well is because you had to have an Xbox 360 in order to play it at the height of its hype. So guess what people did? They bought an Xbox 360 in order to do it. Neo got a lot of accolades as being its, its version of the Souls type of game, real difficult type of game. Those games rose to fame really in this generation. In order for you to play Neo on console, you want the plug and play of a console, guess what you got to get? A PlayStation 4. Near Automata from Platinum Games. Platinum Games is a celebrated developer. Even though it ended up coming to the Xbox, guess what? If you wanted to play it at the height of its height, guess what you had to get? A PlayStation 4. The list goes on and on and on. So you fools out here, and now I'm putting it nicely because I wanted to call y'all something else. You fools out here that sit there and say that it's all about Microsoft just solely having first party in order to get past this hump. We don't see what Microsoft under the helm of Phil does with first party development. It is a lie that they give them development freedom, okay? Look at what they did with Rare Sea of Thieves. I already showed you that Phil exposed himself on how he didn't give them development freedom in that Eurogamer interview in 2017. If he gave people development freedom, look what the hell he did with Crackdown 3. Why didn't they just release it as is? If you give them development freedom because you knew the game was trash and you had to at least make it look prettier and then your your best bet of trying to work to get it to the realm of halo gears and forza was the garbage the raccoon food that it came out to be anyway so stop it stop this false arguments stop these th this falsehood and this babble we're talking about the richest company in the damn world they could do better than this. Sony did better than this coming out of last gen into this gen with what? Second party games while they built a first party lineup. Phil Spencer told you at the height of Xbox doing the best financing than it's ever done that he don't believe in taking experiences away from other gamers. Other gamers that he's not in charge of. Now come on now. If that don't spell to you that he's not into the AAA game thing the way that y'all want people to believe, I don't know what will. 
I don't know if he has to take a dump right in your lap. I don't know what he has to do, but not your boy. I'm not falling for the okie doke. And I'm not going to let my fellow gamers fall for the okie doke. So with that said, okay, for y'all sitting there trying to pass this hyperbole on and do so unsuccessfully, it's just, it's just silly and it's stupid, so stop it, okay? If you think that it's okay to fool other gamers, the unaware gamer, just so you feel more comfortable about your purchase, I tell you what. And if you think that it's okay for Sony to sit on top of the mountain alone, you know what I'm saying? Without being chin checked by somebody. Then you take that bright state of mind, that bright idea of yours. I need you to go outside right now with that bright idea. And I need you to go hit, but the first speeding truck that you see, that's your reward for today. <laughs> with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always tell you, you can come with me and come at me. It does not matter to your boy. With that said, if you did like what I had to say, you know what I'm saying? You can catch me on the corner of every boulevard. Check the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples. Dirk Griggity, Snow Bunny, Neethos, Skull, Scrampunks. We air it every Wednesday. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just look up hashtag Scrampunks for more information on that. It is aired on my boy, uh, Dirk Griggity's channel. Check out my brethren, the broadband bullies we out here doing the damn thing. Check out that Discord link. Check out that link to that Patreon. Check out the link to that gear because it's fly. And last but not least, follow your boy on the Hard Knock Digital Culture where we're highlighting hardcore gaming, hardcore anime, and hardcore martial arts. Nobody else is doing this out here in these gaming streets, right? So go to twitch.tv forward slash Mighty Most 2000 so you can partake upon that content. And with that being said, Xbox brethren, stop doing the li stop snorting the lines. Y'all can do better than this, man. Look, we gotta hold micro we gotta hold Microsoft and particularly Xbox feet to the fire so they can go in the next generation. You know what I'm saying? In shape, okay. We, they got clean, knocked the hell out, and Sony done left the ring and took their girlfriend home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Went into stands, put out the woman, and took her home. And next next generation, we just want to come out crispy and clean. But that said, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.